we all have pledged to save water. I originate from glaciers, irrigate meadow. I make melodious sound and flow. Children, guess who am I? You guessed it right. I am the river. <laughs> My name is Satluj. Many rivers like me flow through various states, cities, towns and villages. People get excited when they see us as we are very useful. We do a variety of jobs like we irrigate fields. We provide energy to produce electricity. We also provide water for domestic purposes. This gives us immense pleasure. Today, I will take you to the state of Rajasthan. I do not flow through it, but the government has taken all the measures to take me there. I got to know that there is scarcity of water. So, let's go to a small village in Rajasthan. The objectives of this video are 1. To understand the importance of well, Bauli in ancient times in India. To understand the source of water in a well and Bauli. Oh Arjun, what have you done? You threw the ball so hard that it fell into the well. I made a mistake. Let us see if the ball is visible or it has sunk. No, I am scared of the depth of the well. Okay, then let me look into the well. Bhuvan, I cannot see the ball. But the level of water seems low. What are you saying? This is the only well near our village. True. It's a matter of concern. Do you remember? Yesterday Master Ji told us that slowly the ground water level is depleting. Children, do you know what is ground water? Ground water is the water present beneath earth's surface. In soil pores and rocks, rain water and water from melting of snow from mountains and glaciers is absorbed by the earth and the rest of the water collects in the lower layers of the earth. Yes, I remember. Bhuvan, I'm thinking... The way water problem is very prevalent these days, it might be very common in ancient times as well, when kings were ruling over us. Yes, you are right. Our state receives less rain due to arid and semi-arid climate. If there might be the problem, what did kings do to save and conserve water? Let us go to my grandfather. He has a lot of interest in history. He will be able to give us all the information and we will also discuss the problem of water with him. Yes, let us go. Namaste Dadaji. You are sitting here and I went home looking for you. Namaste children. In the evening, I usually come here and sit on the steps of this lake. I get a lot of peace. Even I love to visit this place. In the morning, people do different things here. They exercise, perform puja, etc. Children, do you know how these ghats were important in ancient days? Children, I have heard that thousands of years ago, when this ghat was constructed, then its hall, 
courtyard, stairs, etc. Every part of it remained decorated. People used to come here to celebrate festivals, worship the lake. Children came to study in school constructed here. Great Dadaji, people had great fun here. Yes, children. People had great fun, but at the same time they were equally concerned about the cleanliness of the ghat because they always felt it belonged to them. Even lake was cleaned as they were particular about the cleanliness of ghat. You are right Dadaji, cleaning is very important to maintain anything. Dadaji, why are you looking upset? I am thinking that the level of water is depleting in the lake and it also rains less in our state. Really Dadaji? The level of water seemed lower even in the well. Dadaji, we want to know what people used to do in ancient times when there was scarcity of water due to the climate of the state. Yesterday, in history class, our teacher told us that in ancient times, king were aware of the water problem. So, they kept on constructing lakes, baulis, wells, ponds, etc. to store rainwater. It is right, children. Bauli was a big, broad well which had steps to go inside it. They are still there, but now most of them have dried up. Wow! Steps to going to the well. It's amazing. Let me tell you something very interesting. Thousands of years ago, a traveler named Al Biruni came to India from Uzbekistan. He carefully observed everything he saw here, particularly the architecture. He made special mention of the ponds constructed here and praised them a lot. Tataji. It's a matter of pride that our architecture is world famous. Right. Really feel proud of it. I have a question. Where did water in the Bauli come from? The way it comes into the well. Please elaborate it. Ground water is the water present beneath earth's surface in soil pores and rocks. Rain water and water from melting snow is absorbed by the earth and the rest of the water collects in the lower layers of the earth. Wells and baulis were constructed in order to use groundwater. This was also used to store rain water which was used by the whole community. Steps and platforms were constructed around these baulis so that people could reach the depth to use water. If that was the case, then the soil near these baulis might be very fertile. Yes, children. Dadaji, in olden days, people used well and baulis to use groundwater. In present days, which are the sources that enable us to use groundwater? In present days, People dig hand pumps, tube wells, etc. to use groundwater. Dadaji, as you told that Bavlis were so useful, can't they be reconstructed? Due to over construction and industrialization, the groundwater level has depleted. It seems difficult to reconstruct these Bavlis. Children, Beside overconstruction and industrialization, what can be the other reasons of groundwater depletion? Let me give you some hints. They are the same reasons due to which many rivers have dried out. Tataji, this is how the whole community used to store water. How did people store water at their homes? In Rajasthan, during ancient times, Houses were made of stone and lime. Rainwater collected on the terrace was carried to the tank where this water was stored. What is tank? Tank is an underground covered hole. It was used to store drinking water and rainwater. Even nowadays, 
people use it for the same purpose. Great, Dada Ji. It means we still use the old techniques. Dada Ji, these days there is scarcity of water and we are also growing in population. It's a matter of concern. Yes, children. It's a matter of concern. Do you know? To combat the water problem in our state, the government has built a canal called Rajasthan Canal or Indra Gandhi Canal. It is the longest canal in our country. Through this canal, water from river Satluj has been brought to our state. This water is used for irrigation and other purposes. Children, I told you in the beginning that the government has planned to take me to Rajasthan. Dadaji, it's great news! Yes, dear. The problem of water is not only confined to our state, but it's a worldwide issue. If we don't gird up now, it will be very late. You are right, Dadaji. Today you informed us about how people used to conserve water in ancient times. The information was quite fruitful. Dadaji, but this is also true that this is a worldwide problem. I hope you all would have gathered information about how people in Rajasthan used to conserve water in olden days. But the problem of scarcity of water happening these days is a matter of concern. In the next video, we will discuss the reasons of scarcity of water and how can we overcome this problem. Till then, keep thinking and saving water.